Hi there and welcome, I'm Nikki Sutton and I help people realise the infinite nature of self and of reality. How to get your higher self to help you? Right, you are your higher self, okay? Your higher self is projecting you into this reality. So don't be perceiving your higher self as some entity or being separate to you. It's you in the far distant, imagine, unimaginable future, looking back on its former self. Time does not apply in these higher densities, dimensions of existence. Time doesn't apply. So your higher self exists at the same time as you. Your higher self is looking back at you at an experience he or she or it once had. That seems weird, yes. <laughs> but when time is not relative, your higher self is always there for you and it is a more advanced version of you. It's connected with you and can understand what you're saying and can help you to a certain degree, as much as it can, with your permission, so that your higher self is not infringing on your free will, a key law in this reality. So I always say, if you don't ask, you don't get. And that's point number one. You as an individual, even though you're part of your higher self, has free will in this reality, free will to choose. And that's part of the experience. If your higher self was dictating everything to you, it's just your higher self using you as a puppet, like some kind of puppet master. But your higher self wants you to have your own unique experience. And so you get to choose. So you can choose to allow your higher self to help you. But your higher self wants you to figure out stuff for yourself. So your higher self can't always help you with everything. There's some stuff you're going to have to figure out for yourself, decide for yourself, move and work through yourself. So on how to get your higher self to help you, this is what I do. Now it's not a particularly complicated or intricate process. A lot of these things are made out to be rather difficult, I guess, in order to sound clever or just difficult, but it's not. Your higher self is a part of you and you can connect with your higher self in an instant. In fact, you're probably connecting with your higher self all the time, but you're not even realizing it or in fact blocking it out because, well, many people don't believe in a higher self or that the higher self is there and connected with us. So it's a matter of opening your mind if you want to have better communication. So a lot of us are busy and we don't get time to meditate as much as we want to. So obviously the best way to do it is when you're meditating. But also you can connect when you're very relaxed. That's the best way because then the conscious mind, the busy mind that's focusing on everything all the time is not so busy and interfering. So when you're relaxed, the conscious mind is switching off a little bit. Now I find that when I haven't had time for meditation that day, and I meditate as much as I can, obviously, because it's one of the most important things we can do. If there hasn't been time for meditation, what I do is when I'm going to sleep, and sometimes it takes me a bit of time to get to sleep anyway, when I'm laying in bed for something to do before I'm going to sleep, I just connect with my higher self. So it's not is not a particularly um, intricate or exciting uh, practice with lots of steps. It's you, as you're going to sleep, taking a few moments to connect with your higher self. And of course, you can do this with spirit guides or with loved ones passed over. So as you're relaxing down, you get near to a hypnagogic state. And in this state, that is the bridge between awakeness and sleep. It's like sleep is just creeping in a little bit. And that, at that moment, we're really connected, but we're still conscious. So we can bring the information back. But we don't need to go as far as the hypnagogic state. It's just when we're very relaxed. So in that moment, first of all, after being relaxed, you set the intention to communicate with your higher self. Intention is key because our thoughts create reality, as do our emotions, as does our intention all is mind. So you set the intention, I'd like to communicate with my higher self, please. 
Now, if you'd like, you can mention a few words of protection too, if you feel so inclined. I find I don't need that anymore. My higher self is there and I'm fully protected, but you can say that I wish to connect with my higher self with the highest intentions and in the greatest good. So your intention is focused only at your higher self without any other interference. And then you can just open your mind, open your emotions at first and see if you can sense your higher self connecting with you. You might feel a slight difference there, a slight difference in energy detected by a slight difference in emotion or feeling. You might feel suddenly ah, a warm feeling or that someone infinite and wonderful is there with you. So sense that change. You may also feel a physical sensation like some spider webs across your face, that feeling or a tingling sensation or a floating sensation. You may feel, it could be anything. It could be anything that's unique to you. So you can feel for your higher self, just connecting with you, sort of entering your energy field there. And at that point, you can open up to ask a question or two. Ask whatever question you wish for your higher self. And then at that moment, remain open and just quiet and see what comes. Now this is the same for psychic work, channeling mediumship. It comes through as thoughts within the mind, visual images, not everyone sees visual images within the mind. So if you don't, then don't worry. It comes through as a thought that pops into the mind or a visual image that's clairvoyance that pops into the mind or a sense of knowing knowing what is being communicated to you, that's claircognizance, or clairaudience, where you might hear a voice in your mind. You might hear a couple of words or you might hear a sentence. It could be a mixture of these. So I get all of these, but mostly it will come as clairvoyance, visual images just popping into the mind or suddenly I start experiencing visions. It might come as a sense of knowing for me, claircognizance, just knowing the answer to the question. It pops into the mind, not necessarily as words, just knowing. Sometimes clairaudience, I'll hear a voice. And sometimes clairsentience, I'll get a feeling, that's the feeling, of love or comfort or being accompanied, being cared for. So there's, there'll be the four ways that it comes in, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairaudience or clairsentience or a mixture of them and just wait for something to come. Now you may feel that it's your imagination happening and that's the thing. It's the same with psychics, mediums, channelers, etc. It can be mistaken for imagination, but we know via the context of what we're doing and how it can feel separate to the self, like it's just arrived in our mind, we can uh, gain comfort that because of that context and the fact that it's just popped into our minds or a sensation within, within us that it's come from our higher self to which we set our intention to communicate with. So we wait for that voice or that visual image or that sense of knowing to arrive and it can be quite sudden like whoosh there's the answer and it's like whoa and oftentimes it's that that's brand new information. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. That's such a good idea. Or it may be a confirmation of something you already figured for yourself, a confirmation of what you've been thinking or uh, suspecting, or if it's a choice, a confirmation of which one you are leaning towards, which decision you are going to make. So you receive that information. Oftentimes for me, I find a lot of visuals starting to happen and I find myself places. My consciousness is fully immersed as if in a, a dream, but clearer and I'm still awake and I will see places because often I'm asking my higher self to show me like some faraway place in the galaxy. I like to travel via my consciousness at night when I'm about to go to sleep. I'm a busy person, so when I go to sleep, that's a nice time for me to do this. So I ask my higher self to show me some amazing place. And suddenly, when I get into the right state, my brain waves have lowered from the active beta state into the alpha or even the delta state. My brain waves have lowered, I'm very relaxed. Whoosh, here come the visuals. 
and I will see amazing landscapes, places, civilizations, people. If I could draw, if I was any good at drawing or painting, I'd paint them. But unfortunately I'm not. So there we are, I'm floating in these wonderful scenes. I might ask my higher self for some information. Like, I might ask what happens when human beings do leave the earth, like physically, not via thoughts, but physically if we try. And information comes like, it's difficult for us to leave the earth because we are creatures of the earth and it's not just air and gravity and the food and water and everything that we're used to here. We also are immersed in the earth's energies and we need to take the earth's energies with us to feel okay. So if we're separated from the earth for too long, we start to go downhill. So we need to have energies being projected in the space that we're in, which match that of the earth. Funny things like that come in. So you can ask questions about your personal circumstances, answers to conundrums you've got in your life going on at the moment, how to deal with someone, how to deal with something, what to do, any ideas to help me please, can you help me with this or that. Or you can ask to be shown wonderful things. It's a lot like remote viewing or astral projection, your consciousness going other places. And your higher self can facilitate that and bring in very interesting information. A lot of it you can't verify, but this is, this is a step towards channeling your higher self. So it's just an easy, basic way to connect with your higher self. Now, of course, you can sit down and meditate properly, which I do as much as I can. Most days, most days I get to do it, but you know, as you can probably relate to sometimes things get a bit busy. It's good to make a routine of it and do it at, a, at the same time every day and you don't have to do it for a whole hour if it's too much and stopping you from being able to do it even 20 minutes to half an hour at least that's something. A meditation is not just for communicating with higher self and guides it's for quieting and calming the mind and reducing thought a bit and so that we don't get lost in the stories of the mind. But you can sit down and do your meditation and tune in that way. Give it, give yourself 10, 15 minutes to, for your mind to calm because then you can connect better. Then set your intention, speak your protection a little bit if you want to. Ask, ask your questions, feel for the responses. And then remember to thank your higher self and send your higher self lots of love, which is radiating back on you because your higher self is you. I know we're perceiving our higher self as a separate entity here, but it is us in effect. So say thank you, lots of love, and then you'll probably fall asleep if you haven't already or end your meditation. Just as a side note, sometimes we block our own communication when we believe that it's not possible. When we believe it, this isn't possible for me, this is my imagination, um, this, is, this isn't working, um, if you're feeling overexcited or frustrated or hurried, then we block ourselves. So it takes, takes time to work through that and then one day it might just happen or it may happen straight away. So that's been a super simple way to basically connect with your higher self. No bells and whistles, it's as easy as that. So leave me and others a comment on how you connect with your higher self very simply day to day. You may be just cooking in the kitchen and you're able to do it however it goes. And remember to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to receive regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. And click that bell button too for notifications because we're raising the mass vibration together, sending lots of love. So go now in love and peace.